up YouTube what's going on Corey Kinchin here and welcome back to the crooked man um you know how I do not like this title screen so let's get off this as soon as possible okay last time um bunch of stuff happened sissy gave me a kiss was the most important thing um yeah to me so let's keep going we're out of school now um I got some keys I got a whole bunch of keys, don't know what to do with them. This school is like huge, it's like three floors in a basement. Um, but let's keep doing this. Janitor's room, okay. Repairs, oh yeah, I read that before. Um, what's going on in here? Nothing inside, nothing inside. Uh, okay, what's this? List of faculty, oh yeah, I read that too. So. As you can tell, I'm back at school, unfortunately. Infirmary, yes. Got the key for that. So, what's going on in here? Trash cans emptied. Parlor key, let's go. Um, let's save it. Uh, where's the parlor? Okay, Lefty Lewis. Box of tools. The whole box would be too heavy to take. I could probably take two tools from it. Oh, uh, let's take a uh, hammer. Bass some skulls and a crowbar. I'll come back if I need anything else. Cool. Okay. Well what this room is yeah was that UG UG McGuire uh, okay what's going on over here nothing lots of books open security box nothing too fancy uh, let's go on this left side reference room locked computer room locked Parlor. Ooh, got the key for this room. Let's save it. And keep going. What does that say? Le lol you? That's what I say. What's this? I guess it's wire art or something. Not sure what it's supposed to be, though. Hmm, apparently it was made by Ray Twain. One of the lecturers? clock stopped let me see that by Ray Twain um oh it could be binary code I see binary code here one zero one zero one 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 and that is uh two um one two four Two five uh, one 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 is zero or one two four eight eight twelve. Um, it's not sixteen. No 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 no. Eight twelve. Um, fourteen fifteen. Duh fifteen. So that's uh two five fifteen binary code but I don't know maybe it's not binary code at all because how many people know binary code okay um did I go on the right already lefty Lewis yeah 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 I've been here I've been here crowbar blah 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 so let's go up let me see what I have in my inventory really quick John Keith's room key. Um, yeah, that's about it right now. So let's go up to another level. Start on this right side. Ray Twain. Hey, I know your binary code. Um, if this freaking binary code actually works, I will get out of this chair. It was two, right? It was two, five, fifteen. Are you kidding me? That's the perks of being a computer science. Don't look at me like I'm crazy anymore when I be talking about computer science stuff. 
literally, I said at first I was low, and then I was like, you know what? I see binary code, and it was binary code. What I even pick up from there? I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, let's let's see. Paper scrap? No, no. Was not even paying attention. Oh, reference key. I must have got that. All right, making good progress. Indeed, law two needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as on or off, zero or one can represent more complex numbers. We learn all this stuff in computer science. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem, though perhaps it's more the artistic notion that captivates me more than the mathematics. Yeah. Um, computer science definitely has its perks. The security box? Nope, don't know that yet. What's this book? Some sort of a diary? Yo, yeah, I've been in here before. Okay, let's uh, keep going. Ah! What the heck was that? What the? Ow! Ah! Hey, who was that? Who'd you be? What are you doing in this school, you shady punk? Shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? All right, we got to give this guy a different tone because I'm talking the same for both of them and I do not like doing that. Give me a name or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think is was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Hmm, you sure? As if a robber would say they were one. What do you want? A permit? Now tell me who Now tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. I'm D. I graduated from the school. So I came to bring back some memories. D? That's your name? Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but... It's a nickname, dummy! You think I tell some shady guy my real name? Psst! What a little brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wondering, so don't mind me. Smell ya! Oh, this is like Gary from Pokemon. What the heck's his problem? Didn't even apologize. He takes me off. I always liked how in Pokemon, every time you run into Gary, you beat him in a battle, and then he's like, smell ya. Alright, reference room. I might actually do a Pokemon game because I like playing Pokemon. I might do a Pokemon game on my channel. Maybe in the near future, far future, I don't know yet. They say that people despise those who think similar similarly to them, or who are in similar similar circumstances similar but humans are curious in that they will hide any outward appearance of goodwill or hatred though they are two-faced deep down they can make that idea seem unthinkable you may despise someone much like you but you may in your heart have affection for them the improbable is not possible it's not impossible i have never understood this philosophy philosophy stuff wouldn't you just dislike people you don't like yeah, David, I'm more of a simple-minded guy myself. A record of books checked in and out. Um, I actually took a philosophy class, like, last year. We learned about stuff like determinism and, like, a bunch of, like, these very advanced abstract topics. Um, if you have time when you're in college, you should, you should definitely take one. The shelves in the basement are for staff only. Those who require books from the basement must sign a form and be accompanied by staff. Dang. Taking any materials out is prohibited. A um, lot of reading in this room. What's what's going on? An elevator for carrying books to the basement. There's no power. So basically, I didn't get anything out of this reference room. Is, is that what they're trying to tell me? Should I, should I check every shelf? Uh, okay. International law. Yeah, basically didn't get jack squat, dilly do dat, nothing from. Oh wait, oh here we go. George Wint, a signatory of the Declaration of Independence. Really? I don't remember that guy. He is sometimes called the father of American law for teaching the first classes in jurisprudence. It's attached to the wall, but the screw is loose. Crap, need a screwdriver. All right, let's go get that. Okay. Um. Uh... We got our screwdriver. Let's use that. Uh, 
Unscrew, yes. There's writing beneath this, or behind this. 1647, is it a code for something? Glad I took this screwdriver, though I'm not sure it'll be useful again. Alright. So, might want to put that back. The code was 1647. Do not forget that, Corey. Um, let's get the hammer and crowbar. And now we need to find out which place has 1647 as a code. Getting these puzzles done, though. <sighs> Hope you guys are enjoying this series, by the way. If you are, just let me know. Passcode. No, not this room. I thought it would be this room. Is it this room? Please be this room. Yes, one, six, four, seven. It contained a key to the lecture hallway. Know where that is. Let's save it and keep going. Oh! What? No! Why is it here? Back in the hotel, I... I thought I killed it! Dang it, I gotta run! Gotta run! What's up, crooked man? How you- Oh! How you doing? Come over here. Oh yeah, juke you piece of crap. Oh! Are you kidding me? Dang, man! What's up, crooked man? Come around this side. Come around this side. The monster's in there. I'm not going in. Um, can I lock him in here? What? What even room is this? Lock the room. Oh! <laughs> Ain't messing with the Corey Kenshin. Say it with me. Ain't messing with the Corey Kenshin. Surely that'll keep him in. Woo! All right, let's save this. But this is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel, and the hotel is hours away. Exactly! This is making me nuts. Or am I already going crazy? Am I just hallucinating this thing? Dude, don't be dumb. Then again, it did attack Sissy, so it can't be my imagination. It exists. Monster, that is. D, if that monster's here, I have to warn D. Tell him he's got to get out of here. Yo. Wait, wait, what was I about to say? Um. I can't remember what I was about to say. Oh, well. Um. Lecture hallway. Know where that is. That's on the first floor. Oh, yeah, I was about to say that crooked man. It, it actually does make sense, even though this place is five hours away, because that guy turbo jets, like. Sonic the Hedgehog, I promise, man. So messed up. Ah, oh, more doors, more floors. Hey, that rhymed. Hey, D! What the heck? Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is, for us, the best day something, because today we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or notaries or whatever or teachers all of us will be graduating from this school and we owe a great debt to it though even if they manage to graduate some of us may need to put a little more time into their studies <laughs> <laughs> but these graduates have one thing in common they are filled with hope for their future they are ready to ch challenge what lies ahead a toast to our dreams to our yet unsure futures, and may we have God's grace. Amen. Now, what was that? D, how did you get into this lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Eh, you forget I'm a graduate here? Oh yeah, eh, you forget I'm a graduate here? I know all the secret ways, dummy. Huh, well. What are you listening to, a tape? Yeah, from my graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? 
I was getting nostalgic for the place, and even abandoned, it really hasn't changed. It's just like it was when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. You graduated, but you're still studying? Hey, lay off! Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Um, school's abandoned. Next up, next up's gonna be my sixth attempt. There were lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed it in one shot. Being a lawyer's been my dream since I was a kid, so I was happy when I got accepted here. Felt I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, and I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time. Anymore, and I'll be way behind my classmates. Uh, you already are on the sixth attempt. Well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? It's sort of hard to explain. There's kind of a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. I thought you were just some weird old guy wandering in an abandoned school, but... Dang, you really are nuts, huh? Seriously? A monster? Even little girls don't believe that stuff. You're being a total doofus. Dang. Do you enjoy making fun of people? And I don't think I'm much older than... Ahem, don't quarrel with me, alright? I'm a talented soon-to-be lawyer. You'd be no match for me. Ah, uh, do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will do what I like, thanks. Like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to do around my alma mater. A hard headed. Hey, Paul, I I got in. What? Really? You got in to flight school? That's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. <laughs> what? You can do whatever you put your mind to. Ha! <laughs> Thanks, but it doesn't make me a pilot yet. Still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally will be. And make sure to give me a ride. I'd, I'd love to fly above a city sometime. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. I'm, it's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. I wonder if D is like that. Most definitely. Alright guys, I'm going to play for about a minute more or so. The Julia Stone School newspaper is posted up. Okay. A big hand for Michael. Today we can pay tribute to Michael Statham. Birthday. June 19th. That's a passcode. So that's 0619. Let's go to Cindy's room, I think. Wait, first we got to save it. Oh, oh, I just did, but whatever. 0619. Let's uh let's finish after I put this passcode in. Oh, here he is. Here we are. 0619. Contain key to the lecture rooms. Very cool. All right, guys. Hope you are enjoying this. As you can see, I've put two hours into this game already. It's so good. Um, any suggestions or you know stuff that you really liked or didn't like, you know, just leave it in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.